What's going on guys? It's Zach. We are back with another back workout, lat focused back workout. So I know the last video that we did uh, was a, the last back video that we did was a lat focused back day. Uh, I got to get one of my mid back focus days uh, up here, but doing another lat focus day and back has been, back has been feeling awesome. You know, you, when you're doing a hypertrophy split, you have those, you have days where you go in and kind of dread the workout. Uh, and then you have the days where you go in and you're just amped up, psyched up. And though that has been the back days. I've, I've been psyched up to hit back. So let's get right into it. So doing some activation sets to, uh, you know, to, to kind of prime the lats, the fire. So you can see here doing some straight arm pull downs, really focusing on, uh, really focusing on the shoulder girdle. And these are really light, really, really light. So, uh, you know, just focusing on driving that shoulder down, flexing the lat, getting a good contraction uh, before we kind of jump into, you know, some of the main movements here. And, you know, so I've been starting out with these, these straight arm pull downs. And what I'll do is do uh, an isometronic. And I picked this up, this stuff, I picked this activation stuff up from uh, Joe Bennett. So if you want to know more, jump over to his uh, website or his Instagram. He posts a ton of good content. Um, so um, with the straight arm pull down, pull down, sometimes I'll do an isometronic where I get really far away from the machine so that at the bottom of the rep, the stack is bottomed out so it can't move. So you're, you're, you're contracting against, you know, uh, against that, that weight, not an isometric where you're holding the weight, uh, an isometronic where you're, you're pulling against something. So it on, it's not moving. Um, so it just gives me a ridiculous contraction, um, in the lats. So, and then I jump into, I superset this with some Joe rows, uh, as he calls them. And, uh, these are so much harder than they actually look. Uh, so you're really focusing on that shoulder girdle, dr pulling that shoulder girdle down and then driving that, that upper arm, uh, you know, keeping it close to your side and driving that upper arm down. Um, so you can see how far down, I'm not doing like a normal row where I'm, you know, pulling into me. I'm focusing on driving that elbow down. Um, and so I do it like three or four, you know, sets of that superset to kind of get, get the lats primed, uh, primed to fire and then jump right into, uh, you can see here doing some seated cable rows. And you guys have seen me do these before, but this is a great, this is a great angle right here. So you can see sitting on the ball, um, you know, you got to make these machines fit to your body, you know? So if I wasn't sitting on that ball, I would be pulling that, you know, I'd be pulling the cable up very high, uh, you know, and it'd be, it would be more of a mid back, you know, trap rhomboid movement. So sitting on the ball, getting that cable lined up with like my belly button, and then really just focusing on, uh, you know, a few things, uh, pulling, pulling the shoulder down and driving that upper arm right towards my, you know, towards my, my side and, and, and getting a good contraction in the lats. And you saw in that other angle, you know, I'm not, I'm not driving that elbow back behind me. I'm getting it right next to my, my body and then squeezing them, squeezing my elbows in. That is the key cue for this. And actually this movement I might do, uh, coming up, I'll probably do a hypertrophy mindset on this movement just cause it's so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not complicated, but I, I know it looks complicated to a lot of people that are like, oh, you know, you, you, you do all these movements that look, that look so complicated. You know, you got the, you're sitting on the ball, you got the, the straps on there. Like I'm going to break it down for you guys. All right. Cause it's, it's totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Um, it's a, you know, I've never, I've never felt, uh, you know, a better contraction in my lats doing a seated row than, than doing it that way. So, uh, definitely going to break down for you guys. So moving on from there to, uh, your basic lat pull down and, uh, going with the two individual handles here. And again, focusing on that shoulder, shoulder girdle, pulling that, pulling that shoulder down with the lat and then driving the elbows down. And what I like to do, um, and this is a good angle for this is, a lot of people when they're doing this, they'll be, they'll say, you know, drive your elbows, get your elbows behind you, you know, try to touch your elbows behind you. I think that's great for, you know, if you're trying to do it to hit, you know, the middle of your back, 
uh, if you're trying to do it to hit your lats, I think what happens is that changes their elbow angle. Um, and, and so from, from the side here, you can see that my elbow is pointed almost straight down, which is what I want. I want it pointing, you know, right at my lat because, you know, that's what I'm trying to focus on. If I were to try to touch my elbows behind me, um, you know, my elbow angle would change and my body position would probably, I would probably lean back a little bit more. Um, and now I'm hitting more of my upper back. So again, you know, it's small little things that, that, I'm, that we're tweaking here to kind of hit the, the lat instead of hitting, you know, the rhomboids or, or you know, the, the mid back. And, and again, like, you're not gonna only hit, you know, when you're doing it, when you're doing one or the other, you're not gonna only hit one of them. You know, you're gonna get a, a decent amount of, of activation in the mid back, even when you're doing lat movements. Um, just from stabilizing and everything, um, but we're just kind of biasing. We're just kind of focusing on uh, on the lat here. So going from there into a superset here, uh, doing some standing dumbbell rows, and I don't do I don't do these too often, but um, they feel feel really good when you when you when I do throw them in. Um, and uh, so you know, a few key points here: get get tight. You know, obviously I'm wearing the belt. Um, but get tight, focus on, on maintaining that, that neutral spine. And then really, I just, I just focus on, focus on, um, get, getting those elbows back next to me and, um, and squeezing the lats, you know, there's, there's a few different ways, you know, you could do those as well. If you're, if you're getting your elbow out, um, you know, and, and focusing only on like getting your shoulder girdle, uh, back, that's going to be a great movement. Uh, as well, but again, focusing on the lats, or we're, we're keeping those arms tight into our sides, and uh, you know, just driving that elbow right up, uh, right down towards our hip, and then and, and getting a good contraction. And then, so I superset those with uh, a neutral grip pull down here, and anytime your your arms are going to be, you know, shoulder width or just inside shoulder width, you know. Uh, above your head, you're going to be able to get that lat nice and lengthened. So you'll see really spending some time in that lengthened position um, and, and focusing on uh, initiating by, by driving that shoulder girdle down and then, you know, driving the elbows straight down. Um, and that's actually, you know, and that's another movement where I throw on those, uh, the rope handles uh, because I can, you can get that wrist you know, you have that wrist mobility. So, uh, you know, at the top, you, you can kind of turn your wrist, your wrist and your elbows out a little bit. Um, but, and then at the bottom, you know, you're keeping more of a, more of a neutral profile with them, but it just keeps you from, you know, you're not locked in, you're not locked into having, you know, absolutely zero wrist movement. And I know that um, when I used to use, you know, the normal handles and everything, uh, on back days, sometimes you would start to get pain in your elbow um, or your bicep. And I think that was really from locking that wrist in place uh, and have it, having it only be going, you know, it, you can only go in whatever direction, uh, you know, that, that is gonna allow you to go in. So uh, having the mobility of the wrist is, is huge. And there's there's back days where I literally, I I just grab two of those those rope handles and I keep them with me the whole workout. And, and like everything I do, I just throw them on there because um, it ends up feeling that much better. So highly recommend giving that a shot. <clears throat> Back into these standing uh, dumbbell rows here. Uh, you can kind of see the range of motion, um, trying to get a good stretch at the bottom too. Uh, and you know, these were these were really good. I actually, I kind of want to throw these in a little bit more uh, as a superset because it, it, um, it was a really good, really good superset getting that lat, lat really lengthened and then jumping into those rows. So finishing it out here with just another seated row, uh, we're loading the, the, the lengthened portion here. So, uh, you know, it's really heavy at the, at the, in the lengthened position and then it's lighter uh, as I row it back. Uh, and it's just a real great prof profile for your back. Uh, kind of matches the, your body's, you know, strength profile for, for the lats and, and rowing. So uh, it's just awesome movement. So that is the quick back workout, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a few quick tips for you guys to throw into your back workouts. Uh, leave a like, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.